What's up everybody, my name is John and this video is going to be talking to you about something that I talked about in the very first video that I posted but I didn't elaborate on it and that's what this one's going to be about and that's the fact that I have something called OCD or obsessive compulsive disorder. Now my OCD is not nearly as bad as it used to be but when I was going through it really really bad I did some crazy things and when I look back at it at the time it didn't seem very funny but now that I think about it, it can, it's pretty funny now something you got to know about OCD is if someone says oh I'm OCD and most of the time they're gonna be talking about they need they need things to be clean and neat and tidy and whereas that's kind of true with someone with like like OCD it's not a hundred percent true you see people with OCD OCD stands for obsessive compulsive disorder in other words they obsess over things and then they're compelled to do certain actions to alleviate the obsession. So in other words, they might think about, oh, my hands are dirty, and that's the obsession. Oh, my hands are not clean. And so they do the action of washing their hands to alleviate their um, obsession. Now, where this becomes a problem is the fact that just because some you wash your hands one time if you have OCD does not mean that you have fixed the problem because you don't just do the action one time. It is a repetitive, constant thing. You just constantly do it and do it, do it until it feels right. Now, when one of my big things was light switches. In other words, I would turn the light switch off and go back and check it probably 13 or 14 different times to make sure it was off. Now, the problem with this is, is it was happening at like 4 o'clock in the morning. I was losing sleep over this. So imagine waking up in your house at four o'clock in the morning and you just see somebody standing at your light switch just turning it off just flicking the little switch just making sure it's off and you go up to them and you ask what, what are you doing so I'm making sure the light switch is off but it is off and on then stop I can't why? I don't know. What? I don't know. And that's what living with OCD can be like because it's kind of like you feel like something bad might happen even though logically you don't know, you know that nothing bad is going to happen. You see, another big issue that I had was washing hands. And I didn't just wash my hands more than most people I wash my hands a lot in other words my hand I would wash my hands so much they would bleed and people would come up to me and be like oh my gosh what did you do to your hands nothing well, they're bleeding I know why uh, I, I washed them in what acid nope just soap it was just soap and so after a while of these compulsions, compulsions? After a while of being compelled, that's the word I'm wanting to say, to do these things, you start to feel a little insane. And to be honest with you, to do something over and over and over and expect a different result uh, is kind of the definition of insanity. And on top of that, to do it and know in your head that it's not logical and still do it is just absolutely insane. But that being said, I have moved past it. I still have my moments, you know, uh, they happen when I get tired and because I've gotten better when those moments do arise and I do start to have my little tics or my obsessions and, my com and being compelled to do things, I get really nervous because it's just scary when you get over something and then next thing you know, it just hits you full force in the gut again. I can be sitting there and I'll just like touch my hand on something, but I gotta wash it, I gotta wash it and then my next thought is, I'm going crazy again. Oh no, I'm going crazy again. So I had to just calm myself down. I had to have a little chat with myself on the inside and be like, hey, look, oh my God, I just went over railroad tracks. I'm sorry, it got shaky. I had to have a little talk with myself. Let myself know, look, you're not gonna go full on crazy. You're just gonna go a little crazy for a little while. Just get some rest and you'll be all right. And then I, I, I take a little nap or, or I get some rest and it gets better. Now that's, I'm glad that I've gotten better. But, I mean, I know there are other people out there that live with OCD that it doesn't get 
better for them. They live with those constant compulsions. Why do I keep saying that word? Obsessions and, and, and being compelled to do things for the rest of their life. And it can be hard. So if you ever see somebody with OCD or if you think they have OCD and you see them doing weird things, don't look at them like they're crazy. Because look, I promise you, they already think it, that they're crazy themselves. Uh, just kind of, if you do, if they have good humor about it, don't laugh at them, laugh with them. Because they're going through something that is rough. I mean, to, to do something and not know why you're doing it, or to understand that it's illogical, but to still feel compelled to do it for some reason that you can't explain can make you feel absolutely insane. Um, I still feel crazy, but for unrelated issues uh, and related issues, because I mean, that does still make me feel crazy, but there are other things too. Um, but yeah, just don't laugh at them, laugh with them. And that's the end of this video. I've been talking too much anyways. Uh, it was good knowing you, even though I don't really know. Forgot. If you like this video, like and subscribe. And leave a comment down below telling me ways that you think I can improve or just let me know a topic you'd like me to talk about.